Oh, welcome back. What's wrong? Nothing. You just weren't organised. It was a good ready. start. No, well, start, we're, having start. A, we're having a chat to our next guest in the ad break there, and yes. I was just asked how his dad was, and they cut me off halfway <laughs> through. But anyway, we'll ask him on air, because we are talking about Jack Viney, who was very instrumental, as indeed all the Melbourne players were last night, for the most part, of coming up with this almighty win, and it will be one for the ages for this uh, football club. TJ, it was, and it's a home and away win they will never forget, and Melbourne supporters won't, despite there being no crowd there. Pickett was good late, three goals. Oliver was magnificent, what two it? goals, 37 disposals. Hawke kicked four early. But uh, we love watching this man when he's fully fit, and it's Jack Viney. Uh, Jack joins us. Uh, thanks, Jack. And where does that sit for you in terms of home and away wins? To be down in Geelong, a place they rarely lose, and to come back from 44 points down. Yeah, that, that's uh, right up there as one of the uh, better wins I've been uh, been a part of, Lloydy. Um, you know, so much on the line, and then just with how it finished as well. Um, yeah, certainly. Uh, it, it'd be top three for sure. So let's watch it. Let's watch the last oh. minute chaos, Jack, uh, no. which what went down there yesterday. Bill's no. had enough. He doesn't want to see it. So we Pretty see Brayshaw. Fair enough. The poor umpire just didn't read the feel of the game there at, at all. You know, so you were unlucky there. They didn't get a throw in. But then Guthrie, you were gone here at this stage he until he kicks it on the full, Jack. Yeah, no, I thought that was a pretty stiff call to, to be called a deliberate when we're trying to win the game. Um, but uh, I suppose footy karma, we, we end up getting the ball back plus plus a 50 metre penalty. So, so what are you thinking here, Jack? Um, uh, I, will, I was I, with the 50 metres. I was just getting back into in the play. Um, you know, I thought Lever might have kicked it long, had a shot on goal, but. Luckily, Max can I cut um, in? presented a can good I option, in, just, Jack? just short of the... And would you have preferred every other player bar Max to take the shot? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, nah, I think that's uh, the definition of a captain's goal right yeah. there, so um, nev never in doubt. <laughs> yeah, and a great bloke to go with it. It was great to see Maxie do that. Let's get into some of the game highlights, but you were down by 44 points. The inside 50 numbers weren't that bad. So what was the difference between the first three quarters where you were still plus one in inside 50s and then the route in the last quarter? Yeah, I think um, they, they got a really good run on in the in the second quarter, I think it was, where, you know, they had some really sh uh, good centre bounce goals. Um, you know, Tommy Hawkins turned it on as well. And they just, they just piled it on in a really short space of time. Um, we felt other than that quarter, our game was in relatively good shape. Um, and yeah, we just had to come into the last quarter with, uh, you know, kick some early goals, which, you know, Cozzy Pickett um, nailed one within the first minute. And we thought, you know, we'd, be, we'd be keep this pace, um, you know, anything could happen. So yeah, we just stuck to our guns um, and then the belief just, just grew and grew in that last quarter. Yeah, I think you nailed it with the centre bounce. I thought that was almost the difference in the game. They got on top, they kicked three in a row from centre bounce, and then you responded. Part of it was Max Gorm, which we've spoken about. But did you go in depth as a midfield on how to adjust in the centre bounce? Yeah, they, they were coming out um, through the front through the front of our centre bounce, and then you know just being the um, the ground uh, GM HBA is it's. Uh, you know, a centre bounce scoring um, ground. So, you know, when you got the likes of Danger Selwood um, streaming out of the centre bounce, it's it's very dangerous. So, we missed that, um, and then Max, you know, took a couple out of the the ruck as well and, and got some going our way. So, um, culmination of you know Max standing up and and us being a little bit more defensive um, helped us get the the game back on track. Must love playing alongside uh, Clary Oliver. Sensational again last night. Just wins the ball. He kicked a couple of goals last night. And taking uh, nice grabs too, Jackie boy. Yeah, no, Klaz is, uh, you know, he's had a sensational season all, all, um, all year. So, um, you know, he's a super super player, contested. Um, when, he, when he hasn't got bunged shoulders, he, he can take a grab early as well. Um, and then hitting the scoreboard as well. So it was a you know a complete game from Clary um, as a midfielder. So you know, hopefully he continues that form, which I'm sure he will. Yeah. What about uh, he was saying after the game that when Maxi was uh, kicking that goal to win the game, him and so, Dangerfield were having a chat about uh, Danger's sore calf. weren't even watching the the kick from Max. Yeah, he's a uh, he's an interesting interesting cat, Claz. So I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure they were having 
having some kind of conversation that uh, <laughs> probably wasn't relevant to the moment. <laughs> and Jack, speaking of uh, sore parts of the body, how's yours this morning? Uh, you've had uh, some injury issues again this year. You've always battled through them courageously, but you uh, you got out in the park again last night and had a key role to play in that win. You, you're right to get through? Might have lost him, have we? Lost Sorry, Dame, I missed, missed the first half of, of your question. Dame, they said you were more that. this year. <laughs> I didn't say that, Jack. I was, I was referring to your, <laughs> long uh, question. <laughs> your courage in playing through injury pretty much your whole career. How is the foot? And, and given the... You got through a game last night. Yeah, no, I'm feeling feeling really good body-wise. Um, you know, I've, I've had a pretty in, interrupted season uh, again this year, but uh, the body's feeling really good, um, you know, coming into an important time of the year. So, um, yeah, all, all the stars are aligning, um, yeah, to, to hopefully play some good footy um, in September. In the ad break, we asked you about your old man. Is it true? Can you put to bed the rumour that he Not beat Boris Becker oh, at tennis? Come on, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know what the truth is. Truth is anymore. Um, <laughs> I think I think he didn't, but he lied about it, and now everyone thinks he did. So. Hang on, you've just exploded a myth that we've been running with for years, and you reckon it's all been a yeah. fib? It's a myth. It's a myth. Oh, yeah, a bit well. like yours when you beat Peter Lucha. No, that was real. Oh. And Dustin Fletcher thinks he beat Mark <laughs> Philippoussis as well oh, in a game of well, tennis. Who Todd coached. Who Todd coached. But uh, the votes from last night. Uh, Demons, Clayton Oliver, what a year he's had. 37 disposals, two goals. Max Gorn dominated late. Jake Lever, seven intercept marks and 22 disposals. And Tommy Hawkins was very, very good with four goals. Hey, Jack, just before Billy tells you what you've picked up for coming on the almighty, the all-conquering Sunday footy show, um, in all honesty, what does it mean to you to be playing finals footy? I mean, you've been at the club for eight years probably been around the club all your life, given your dad's background. Um, you've played three finals in those eight years, all in 2018. What, what does it mean to you as you wake up this morning knowing that, A, you're minor premiers, and B, you're a realistic chance of breaking that 57-year drought? Yeah, I mean, it means so much. Um, you know, especially, um, you know, knowing, knowing what our supporters have been through and particularly in a year like, like this where we've, we've had... Um, some success and our fans not being able to to be part of it. Um, it's been a tough journey for them. Um, so, yeah, to, to be in September, um, have an opportunity at um, creating something special, like you said, hasn't happened at the footy club for a long, term, a long time. Um, you know, to bring our fans some joy, it's something that uh, is really what's motivating the playing group at the moment. So, um, you know, it's been a great season thus far, but the boys have reset, understand that um, you know, there's, there's bigger things to achieve and um, we're getting back to work um, straight away. Oh, nice, Jack. Uh, nice. Thanks for coming on the show. You win the dozen Callaway soft golf balls there in the Odyssey Tour towel. You'll love that, mate. The Travis Matthew four caps there uh, to keep a lid on it when you're on the golf course, of course. The Aquila shoes and clothing, magnificent uh, kicking goal since 1958. Need a new pair of quillers, actually. Bar Fridge from Bar Fridges Australia. They're the best in the business. Just go to Bar Fridges Australia. Look at that. Magnificent there. The Ricks Eyewear. Use the code word CHOMPERS and you get 20% off at ricksiwear.com.au. Oh, there they are there. The Platform 28. Dinner for two when it opens again. Magnificent restaurant down here in Docklands. Platform 28. And AMFX. You get a custom fire pit. You can fire that up out in the backyard thanks to AMFX. Thanks, Jackie boy. Good on you, great vine. Thanks, Bill. Hey, Jack, one last one before we let you go. Your final we're expecting to be Saturday night. Can you tell us where it'll be played? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine, Lloydy. <laughs> okay, where, where's the preference for Melbourne, you think? What ground do you favour? Uh, I honestly don't even know what's on the table. I'm okay. here in Tassie's uh, okay. a chance. Um, obviously, you don't, don't want to be buying at the Gabba. Okay. Um, yeah. hmm. Adelaide. Yeah. Uh, is Perth still still an option? Mm. Not, not okay. Casey. Not yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's fair to say they don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Jack. Thanks for your time. All right. We'll take a break. You Thanks, are watching. Thanks, mate. Jack Viney joining us there. You are watching the Sunday Footy Show. More in a moment. 
Still to come, all the latest news and analysis as we look ahead to the first week of finals. Off the back of Eddie Betts' retirement, Lloydie's deep dive looks at some of the game's greatest ever small forwards. A goal! Magnificent goal! Peter Draper! Plus, Damo's agenda, Billy's list and Nathan's special 60 Minutes investigation into the TJ Quiz cheating scandal. Did you cheat at the quiz? You're watching the almighty, all-conquering Sunday footy show.